What's up, y'all? She Tate and Taylor Brothers, and coming up to you with a brand new video today. For those of you who don't know, here at Tate and Brothers Production, we are a big fan of comics, manga, manga, you know, all that stuff. And in in that scope, something big happened. It's the end of the first DC animated cinematic universe. This started originally from the Flashpoint Paradox, and that made loopy the two universe before this it was only one off movies and each movie the actual person in it or actual characters in it were different basically different um iterations of that character in the sense that there are alternate alternate dimensions of the same character basically but now all characters followed one streamlined story so every single movie had the same characters they will recall events from previous movies that being said the end came from justice league dark apocalypse War. it was the last one basically the big war and at the end they had to reset the timeline again those events started dc rebirth which is the most current ongoing comics to this day now with that all being said the first of the new DC Cinematic Animated Universe is Superman, Man of Tomorrow. After watching this movie, um, I, I, I kind of like where the direction is going. From the first cinematic universe to now, um, there are, are notable differences. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my review on the movie. Starting with the story. This movie is a very basic movie. It's Superman figuring out how to do hero work and him finally starting at the freaking newspaper place and still him and his little glasses still fooling people somehow let's just start with his glasses fooling people whatever and it's, it's introducing him martian manhunter which i like because in the pre previous dc universe he was almost non-existent he is a family member of justice league and for some reason in the last one they barely showed him but I'm, I'm glad i'm glad he's back now and he's he's more prevalent because that, that's my that's my dude. You know how Sean Marshall Hunter is? What? Any he's back on topic. Um the movie is the plot is eh, it's okay. There is no really set villain villain. There's just in the first like quarter of the movie it's a anti-hero whatever and then the last half is an accident gone wrong i'm gonna let y'all watch it and just for yourself um there is the villain is not really a villain because it's just it's the story is based on superman turning into a hero basically and the villain there's no like real villain when he first starts it's like him just beating beating up bad guys so, on the story, I'm giving it a 3 out of 5. Next, I'm going off the animation. So, about the animation. What drawn me so much about the Doopity 2 universe, cinematic animated universe, was because the animation, I liked it so much. The fight scenes were clean, and everything made me, made me want to watch it, you know? So, when it transferred to this new style of animation, at first, it was off-putting. It was. I didn't like it at first. And as I watched it, I actually got onto it quite a lot. It was actually very fluid animation. I was I was actually very impressed by it. So uh, with that being said, um, there are, I'm 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 really excited how they implement this this style into the next movie coming forward, especially in the Batman. Cause they be throwing hands. They don't be throwing hands like that. He's just doing Superman punches and throwing niggas and blasting his eyes. But Batman and Robin, they be they be throwing hands. So I want to see. How that looks like animated, but I can definitely see the animation potential in these movies. There are some things, even small little things that I see is like, oh, that was gorgeous. I don't know if it's me because I actually took animation classes back in my schooling days, but this thing looks this is good. So I'm giving animation a five out of five. I know I'm stuck with animation, so trust me when I say this. When I say this, I'm 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 happy about it. Like, like I never thought. The I would get so wet over a man putting on a jacket. Pause, I know, but come on, this, this look clean. It it looks clean, okay? And now, next topic is gonna be the characters. You know, it's a basic character. They have Lex Luthor in there, Superman in there, Superman. You know how, how to know this is 
really learned Superman's life, Superman's foster dad is still alive. That, that, that's, that's how early, that's how early this, this comic is. That's, that's how early this movie is based on the comic. Just saying. And, and they have Louis Lane, and I'm just saying, Louis Lane looking coming like a snack in the video. I'm not even gonna lie. They made him like a like a bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the characters, they made Louis Lane seem like a really cool badass for some reason. Not, I guess uh, it's okay. I mean, Superman is. So I'm, Superman seems really like not as smart in here. I'm not really sure about where to pull it, but it seems like really naive, or I don't know what it is. Let's do third. I kind of like his performance, but I feel like his cunningness wasn't as high as Luther was supposed to be. He's more like sarcastic. And not, I don't know. I think he's more cunning than that. And there's Lobo, which I was surprised to see. I've been, I've been, I've been seeing in and movies or comics or uh, uh, shows since like Teen Titans in like 2000, 2006 days. So uh, this is good to see. Uh, After recording that video, I realized that that was not Lobo in Teen Titans, the show. That was Johnny Ransom. I apologize. And also I have seen him in the comics. He, I definitely saw his daughter in it in the joint Teen Titans recently too. And he was definitely in the comics. So I apologize times too. But overall, I'm giving this movie a three and a half out of five, plus a optimistic look for the future. I'm actually looking forward to see these movies because this is the first one. I, I understand. I'm giving it a pass this time. I mean, it's a, it was it's an okay first cinematic movie. So it made me want to watch the ones coming forward. So hopefully, I am still impressed. The next one comes out. I don't know when this one come out yet. It has been announced, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, thanks some guys. Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, let me just let us know. If you want more videos like this, let us know. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Give us a share. And you know, keep it keep it real with your boy. You know, we, we love y'all. We 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 love y'all. So uh, peace out.